it's Anna here, welcome in my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to create very simple uh, Christmas lanterns. Uh, I will be using those silhouette dies uh, from uh, the Sweet Christmas collection by Spellbinders and this video is a part of my guest designer spot uh, on their blog with this collection. Um, I will be uh, creating a lantern using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and in this video I am going to create two lanterns. The one will be in a craft color and the second one will be, will be a red color and I will be using those fun silhouette uh, dies uh, by Spellbinders. Uh, I cut uh, every uh, 12 by 12 paper sheet into the even uh, four uh, quarters. So we have uh, four six by six elements, and now using uh, using a scorpel, uh, you can use whatever uh, tool you have, or you can use uh, your ruler to score the lines. I am scoring at a quarter of an inch, uh, and I will be creating the lantern quite big because the dice are big, and I want them to be visible uh, in a whole glory. And now I am scoring my uh, edge um, using uh, the bone folder. You can uh, use, uh, you can use your finger, you don't have to use bone folder. And uh, each of the four colors will create four, uh, which of the four squares will create uh, uh, one side of uh, the lantern. And now I'm going to create a frame that will be filled with piece of the vellum paper and I'm measuring uh, to create the inner uh, square. It will be uh, a little less than a square, but let's say it will be a square. And I am using five of the eighth parts of the inch. I'm not sure how to, uh, uh, how to say it in English because uh, well, I only know math uh, in Polish. Uh, sorry for my head um, in the camera. I am using a, a ruler and a, a pencil to mark the lines. Uh, basically, I want to create the outline wide enough to add a, a stripe of uh, double-sided tape that will be uh, added to glue down uh, the part of, uh, of a vellum. And uh, with the craft knife, I am cutting off this inner part of the uh, square. Um, sorry for making such a funny moves with my hands, but I was recording this video as a live kind of a video. But then I decided it's just too long and too boring to put it uh, in a 40 minutes making landers video. Uh, so I decided to shrink it. And this is what I want to do with every side of my lantern or for um, or for uh, sides of the box will look like this. And I am using vellum. This is quite thick vellum, but you can still see through it. Uh, so it's not that thick. I am buying it in the paper supply shop. This is not a typical uh, scrappy supply. You can, of course, buy vellum uh, as a 12 by 12 paper sheet, whatever you like. Uh, just trim it a little bit um, narrower than a little bit more narrow than the hole you have and not too narrow because you still want to glue it uh, into the frame. Um, you can use trimmer uh, to create this inner uh, square but I think the craft knife is much uh, faster. Um, remember to first score the line and then measure measure from the scoring line not from uh, the border uh, line uh, in this side so we want to have um, even square uh, even borders i am using um scorp no what is this? oh scotch 80 g gun sorry i forgot the name you can also use any other uh, tape uh, glue i recommend you to use a tape glue because uh, thanks to the tape uh, the vellum will not wave and vellum doesn't like moisture at all so it can wave when it comes to the liquid glue and as you can see off the camera i did uh, exactly the same with uh, uh, eight pieces of my um, 
box i also cut it out the silhouettes i have uh, two different uh, dice with uh, silhouettes one of one of them is the santa hanging socks uh, over the i would say maybe a fireplace and the second one is the santa and the baby riding uh, reindeer and i want to uh, i have two of each per each of the lanterns so there will be four sides and two sides will have similar design and as you can see i am uh, gluing together all the parts of my boxes applying uh, a little bit of double-sided tape you can use glue liquid glue in this part whatever you like i wanted to use a uh, double-sided tape because i wanted to have an uh, intermediate effect i didn't want to, dr uh, to wait for my glue to dry so basically my lantern is laid ready all it needs it's to be embellished and as you can see it can it can fold flat so it will be easy to store it during the summer time when you do not uh, display it um, as a winter decoration and i am applying uh, a little bit of uh, tape uh, tape glue over my cutouts uh, once again be careful with the liquid glue it can make the uh, it can make the lantern, not the lantern, the vellum uh, wave. And as you can see, I changed the colors. So uh, the craft uh, lantern will get red, uh, red silhouettes and the red lantern will get the craft silhouettes. All of this is created in one uh, craft uh, paper and one uh, red paper so I only used two sheets of uh, scrappy papers for those lanterns and I used the cutouts from the frames uh, to cut out the uh, silhouettes and that's it <laughs> i jumped a little bit but my uh, lanterns are ready and now i want to embellish them i took green uh, cardstock and i will be uh, fringing it to create kind of a, a christmas tree branches as a decoration if I would have a fringe scissors, it will uh, work much faster, but still it's a very fast and easy to make Christmas decoration. It can go well on the cart and on the box and whatever you want. I uh, used this uh, kind of a branch over the layout once, so it can be... Um, it can go everywhere, sorry, I forgot the English word I was going to use. And I'm just embellishing one side of the box that will be standing in the front. And the other uh, three sides won't be that visible. But uh, when you light the uh, candle inside the uh, box, uh, every side will uh, create the silhouette pattern, which is very nice. I already tried it with... Um, with um, with the candle and the lights off and it it looks really pretty i will uh, add the picture in the slideshow at the end of the video so you can see how pretty it can be as a decoration at night and it will be also a pretty decoration at, uh, during the day if we will add some embellishments like i'm adding right now and i want to keep it really really simple uh, so uh, i <laughs> I have to be honest, I don't have much of Christmas collections. I'm not a Christmas scrapper. I prefer summer travels, colorful uh, collections. I am not over buying Christmas stuff and I have only the basics. And uh, I usually, what I buy this year, uh, this particular year, I use uh, in the same year. So I'm not keeping the Christmas collections for like ever. And I don't have a lot of uh, supplies because um, Christmas is still uh, behind, not behind, ahead. So I will be just uh, stocking for Christmas supplies, waiting for new collections to come to the shops. Uh, so I'm working with what I have from last year. And as you can see with the with the branches uh, all i need is to add some uh, inscription like uh, mary and it will be all my decoration will be uh, almost finished 
um, and still I can uh, flatten the uh, lantern for the uh, for the storage uh, so it won't take a lot of uh, space uh, in my uh, Christmas <laughs> decoration box I will do exactly the same with the second one uh, with the red box uh, with craft silhouettes and it will look uh, very very similar to this box Mm, I will use similar uh, embellishments. Those are from Crate Paper and Pink Fresh Studio from 2017 uh, collection. I already uh, saw a collection uh, for this year and they are going to be awesome and they will work perfectly with all those uh, spellbinders, the Sweet Christmas uh, collection dies and um, those are the close-ups uh, of my uh, lanterns. Look how pretty they look at night. They also look great uh, during the day, uh, surrounded with other um, decorations, but you have to be careful not to uh, flame it because it's paper, it will flame really, really easy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the description box for the supply list and check the Spellbinders blog for more inspiration. Bye bye!